Hey everyone, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna check out how to render scanned or super high res geometry um, in low res using displacement and um, and just some of uh, redshift red, redshift's features. So um, right here, I've got a high resolution mesh that I'm just gonna get rid of everything else that we've got in the scene and so we just got we just have that super high res view right and the goal is to render this um, and have the result of all of this detail but with a low resolution um, mesh so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna load the the lower res piece right and so let's come here and apply the texture to this so on my textures um, we'll see I have a, a basic texture for this so what what I have is my redshift material my RS material, um, just a quick recap. So it's just Redshift, and then RS material, I've got them plugged in. That's basically all I have. And then my texture, it's just Opening it up here, RS texture. So you can see it's an RS texture, and I'm plugging this into my diffuse channel. On my diffuse, it's my albedo pass. And then I plugged in my roughness and then my bump. Right, so let's get rid of that and let's first get rid of our bump and bring in our displacement. We're gonna type in RS displacement, bring it down, plug that into my texture map, and that's gonna come into my displacement let's come into our camera and first things first we want to select the object and we want to come to my our redshift if you don't have it here just click here and then and then on your shelf tools just bring just click here uh, make sure your object parameters are applied onto the geometry and then once they are you can come here and select tessellation and on our tessellation we're gonna enable tessellation which means that uh, it's gonna be subdivided as soon as we hit the render um, let me split my plane here top and bottom and right here I'm gonna come into my render view alright um, camera 2 and let's go ahead and render so Tessellation means it's increasing the subdivisions. Essentially, the same thing as, uh, as a hypernerves in cinema or in Houdini, you know, subdivisions or, you know. Okay, so right here, we're not getting anything because I didn't apply my material. Okay, so we want this to be our sand and we want this to be a polygon so i'm just gonna stop and hit re-render Let me just double check, make sure that 
we got a decent HDR lot HDR So I'm bringing in an environment HDR. All right, so. So right now we've got um, smooth subdivisions. If we uncheck this, then for somewhere where you wouldn't want it to, like it just like smoothens out the edges a bit more. Um, if you don't smooth the subdivisions, it's it's gonna increase the subdivisions, but it sort of keeps the hard edges on those places a little bit more. Um, the higher we go, it's kind of less subdivided that it that we get it. So if we come here and say, for example, at at two, that means it's gonna have more detail. And then um, come here, come here, and then our next step is gonna be uh, for us to add the displacement. So it's coming here and then add displacement and we want to add like 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is probably going to be a lot anyway. It's probably going to end up being a 0 0.01, but let's see what we get here. One is crazy. It's just going to explode my geometry. So you can see it's a lot. See how it just like blobs my geo. So I'm just gonna select, hit shift, select this a portion of this and go into a point one, a point zero one. And there we go that's what the displaced geometry is gonna is gonna be looking like um so let's come into our material and finish setting it up into material and i am gonna make sure we've got all of the passes that we need so I'm probably going to use the cavity and plug in the cavity into an overall color. And then I'm going to plug in our displacement as well. I mean, my bump. So the cavity might be a little bit strong. Okay, so we're going to add a redshift color correct, apply it right here, and I'm going to decrease the amount of gamma so that it's brighter 
so it, since it's brighter we're gonna have less of the defined cavities and dark spot dark places on the on the setup all right so let's see if we increase see we get we get less of those and then we're gonna plug in our bump so we can control the range of the bump here because as you can see it's also a little bit too intense so I'm gonna use a 0.1 value that's what we get with a 0.1 value and then it really comes down to um, tweaking the amount of the weight of our reflections and the roughness um, I still feel like that might be a little bit too much and then we can use a color correct to uh, adjust the gamma on your on your roughness channel so I'm also going to leave it at a 0 0.01 We'll come back to our object parameters. Let's go ahead and uh, reset our render so that we can see the entire thing. And I'm gonna enable our wire shaded mode so that we can see the amount of detail we're extracting from a low resolution mesh.